Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm Caitlin. This is Jameis. He's going to sit over there playing. And this is the Sweet Life of Pisto. And we're just going to give you a little tour of our RV and our lifestyle and how we do it. All right, let's go. Welcome to our home. This is our Heartland Mallard M33. And we're going to show you around. So here we have our bedroom door with our coat rack on it. We hold all of our jackets, uniform, dog leash, all that good stuff. And then um, as you walk in, you walk into our living space. And uh, one thing that we loved about this model was all the floor space that we have here. Enough room to put toys, do the walker, crawl around, yoga, whatever you wanna do. And then uh, another thing that we absolutely loved, probably our number one thing, was our entertainment center because this TV here is a dual purpose. Um, it serves for a TV in the living room as well as the bedroom, just flip it around. And when we're ready to go to bed and watch some TV, relax, we can do that with just the same TV. Um, we also have a cute little cubby down here. And then we have our surround sound system here. We've got DVD player, CD player, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. And then um, also it does have surround sound throughout the rig itself and it works pretty well. Then um, we have storage up here and storage down there. Uh, coming over here we have more storage as well up here. This is where we keep all of our diapers and wipes handy. Here is our junk drawer. Everybody has one. That is ours. And then we have a little stockpile of couponing essentials and stuff like that. And then over here we also have our um, guest bed slash couch. And uh, we actually love it. It is very comfortable. We'll probably have it for a long time. We've had a few guests so far and they all say it's pretty comfortable. So we love that. Sasha loves it as well. And as you come over here, we have our dinette. This is where we eat dinner every night. Um, we also have storage under here. So there's storage all along underneath, all along under there, and over here. Um, coming over here, we do have a small little table. It fits perfectly here for homeschool and snack time and everything like that. I don't know what else would fit here, but this is perfect and we love it. And also another thing that I'd like to mention is our lights, which is another feature that we love about this model, is all the lights, we have our switches, of course, for the lights, but then we have buttons on each light. So if we want to dim the room down a little, we can just pick and choose which lights we want on and which ones we don't. And including this one here, which is perfect for seeing inside our pantry. So here's our pantry, full to the brim, stocked all the way right now. We have our medications up here so the kids can't reach them. Over here we also have another hanging closet that's full to capacity at the moment. Down here we have all our control panel um, circuit breakers. Kids have not yet discovered that. Coming this way we have the boys room. This is our bunkhouse. It's usually got toys all in the place. This is um, where our oldest one sleeps here. We got this bed rail from Amazon so you didn't fall down. Um, over here we have his closet, which is also serves for his um, ladder. He's learned to use it pretty well. And then he's got his entertainment center for his own TV. He watches movies. He's got the DVD player down here, which uh, we had to turn it sideways because our Youngest one loves to play with the buttons, so can't really do that anymore. And then down underneath we have uh, some extra storage space uh, for books and stuffed animals, things like that. And then we also have some drawers, put socks and things. Um, they each have their own drawer. And we've got a hanging closet, so they each have their own little closet space. And there he goes, getting up in his bed. Ready for nap time. Yeah. And then they got the toy box. We also have this nifty little fan slash heater we got from Walmart. I would definitely recommend to anybody 
multi-iron that may need one because this one has two fan settings, two heat settings, and if it falls, if they knock it down, it turns off and shuts off by itself. We've got a little space over here with little bigger toys that they normally play with, and then we have storage up here for things that we don't normally always use. We also have the play pin for whenever um, Jameis decides to sleep in his own bed through the night, hopefully soon. And this is the bunkhouse. All right, so from his room, coming to the bathroom. This is our bathroom right here. Hi! So this is our bathroom. This is our bathtub and our shower. As you can see, I've got plenty of space here. And we still have a bathtub for our little ones to take a bath. So that was a huge plus with the, the Mallard M33 that we loved. And then you can come over here at our door. We've got all of our towel space. This is where we keep our towels. It's laundry day, so there's only a few towels left. And then a huge thing that we love about the setup is uh, this door here is our little door stopper. And then we've got down here, there's hooks that hang our laundry basket for dirty clothes. And it's also got a zipper. That was from Amazon. And like I said, there's plenty of space in here and probably more space than what we had in our sticks and bricks. Um, before we didn't have much space in between the wall and our bathtub. And this actually is pretty comfortable because when the kids are taking a bath, one of us will sit over here on the squatting potty and one will sit on the toilet comfortably and everybody can fit in here and enjoy bath time. And then we have our sink space. We have storage under here, storage up here. Um, plenty of space over here for potty training and our scale and everything like that. Um, we've got our dehumidifier because this is the most humid place in the house. Um, and then another huge plus with uh, the M33 was that we have the second entry door. So, super convenient when we have um, get togethers and guests so they don't have to track everything through the home. And um, especially also if we're traveling, then we can just use our own bathroom instead of using the gas station bathrooms. Another thing with this bathroom is we have a vent here let it air out. We got the fan also. Pretty handy. And then if you look right here, we've got all of our uh, notifications, battery, fresh black water, all that good stuff. We also have an electric and propane water heater. And um, that's a good feature to have. Not that we've ever used our propane um, for a water heater, but it's nice to have both options. So, Another thing that we love about this model was the island. And then also we have this nifty little switch here that turns on this light. And this light is perfect for um, turning on every night when we have to do the restroom, we have it on, we go to bed so that way we can see where we're going and walk to the bathroom and all that. And then um, also, I don't know if anybody has noticed, but um, as you look throughout the floors here, we have no vents on the floor. This is something that I did not realize until after we actually purchased our RV, and I absolutely love this feature because it makes it more of a homey feel to not have vents on our floor. So all of our heat vents are actually placed um, on the walls and things like that. So um, that was a huge plus as well that we really liked about the M33. And like I mentioned before, the island itself gives us extra counter space. Um, that was a huge thing when we were looking at RVs and planning to go full time was the kitchen space that we had. It was very important because we uh, both love to cook and we get creative in the kitchen. So maximizing our kitchen space was a huge priority. And this is our dishes. We can put it in here if we need to. But this is where it stays most of the time. It just becomes normal. And it's perfect because it doesn't take up enough, too much space. And then we have all this kind of space over here, which um, we didn't used to have because we got this for our fruits and vegetables from Amazon. Works perfectly. Just hang it with the command strip hook. And um, 
We have all our counter space back now when before we just had them overflowing. And then another thing we got that was very convenient for Amazon was um, this uh, paper towel holder. And it's got a little shelf here, folds of paper towels, extra goodies. And if you are full time, this is another thing that we would highly recommend. Uh, we used to have a separate salt and pepper shaker, and now we have this two in one. And just for pepper there, and then salt. So this is a huge essential item in our home. And then probably our number one, um, what do you call it? Number essential one. item? Yeah. Prize possession. Our number oh. one prize possession in our RV is our little ninja foodie here. Big ninja foodie. Um, so it does everything. If you are a full-time RVer or going to be, you, uh, we would definitely recommend this to anybody. It does everything. Pressure cooks, air crisp, steams, slow cook, dehydrates. All that good stuff. Um, we also have this light here, probably noticed. That's convenient. We have a plug right here. We've got all of our dishes and things in there. We also have this nifty little um, strip to hold our knives so the kids can't reach them in the drawers here. And we have a good amount of drawer space one, two, three drawers, storage space in here. We also have storage space under here, which is where we keep all of our pots, pans, toaster, blender, all that good stuff. Um, we only have one pot and one pan that we use um, for everything. And we do have an extra pot if we actually need it, which we haven't actually needed it yet. Um, so that works perfect. We have what we need, nothing more. And here's an oven, stove, microwave, and then you've got your lights, fan, and one thing uh, I've noticed a lot of RVers have mentioned is that their oven does not work right or it uh, doesn't cook evenly. We have not had that issue with ours. I don't know, maybe because it's a newer model or something, but um, it cooks perfectly for us. So that's been a huge plus. And then um, coming over here, we've got our fridge. A lot smaller than what we had in our sticks and bricks but uh it works out great because we only buy what we need and what we're going to use we don't actually waste a lot as we did probably in our house and then up here um is a perfect space for all of our water grab and go drinks stuff like that um another thing that we loved is that we have um the option for gas and electric so we can use uh propane for this or we can use electric which we haven't had to use our propane yet so it's just a nice thing to have the option for both um, and then over here we have our heater slash fan um, great for the winter it keeps us warm so we haven't actually had to use our propane very much at all because this heats the space up pretty well almost actually gets hot sometimes even in like freezing weather and then another thing we've got the plug here it's perfect it's convenient and also another feature with this model we loved was the vacuum that's built in um, and it comes with a hose that's under our bed and it reaches from one end of the RV all the way to the other end of the RV so we don't have to have a vacuum stored in here anywhere and we actually, most of the time, I do just sweep and uh, every now and then we'll vacuum. Um, but sweeping is a very regular thing, so the broom is conveniently here at all times out of the way, so it's perfect. We also have a trash can full size. It gets full every day still somehow, even though we have such a small home. And then we also have a diaper pail to contain the smell and try and alleviate the space in the trash can since it gets so full all the time. Here is our uh, buttons for our AC, heater, all that good stuff. And then down here is our um, beverage station for Sasha Bell. So that's where she eats. And it fits perfectly. So coming over here, there's the front door and then 
here is our master suite. And along the other side of this door here, we have our shoe storage space. So this is where we keep all of our shoes and it works out great. Out of the way, I would recommend this to any full-timer. And as you come in, this is our sleeping room. This is where we sleep. That's about all we do in here. Um, of course, with our swivel TV, we can watch TV in here while we go to sleep as well. Um, it's got perfect amount of um, nightstand space on each side. We both have our own nightstands. Uh, it also has a little cubby underneath the nightstand there. Then it's both got an uh, electrical outlet for a charging station. We both have our own closet space as well. Pretty good. Works for us. It's just enough space. All we need really. Probably more than we need. We also have more space up here. Socks, underwear, more clothes. Goes all the way through to the other side there. And then there's another closet. We have a sleeping baby right now, so we do block the light with the blanket for him. And he is out because he has been up for a very long time. And then right here we have a good amount of walking space and the co-sleeper, obviously, you see it fits perfectly. And that was a huge plus and we love this whole setup. It works out great. And this is just another thing that we love about our Mallard M33.